Good evening, everyone, and happy Wednesday. A little bit of a banger. How's everyone doing? It's Wednesday, which is Vanilla Doom Night, as as is tradition. So we're picking up where we left off on Plutonia 2. I believe I'm actually on map 7. So I should probably expect some sort of Mancubus and Arachnotron bullshit. Um... So, how's everybody doing this evening? I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Let me just make sure everything is working nice and good. Okay. Looks like it. Alright, so. Uh, we are about to start a level that appears to be a little bit of a doozy. Um, I've got... Yeah, I think it has 101 enemies, and there's like 20 in front of me right now. They're about to attack me on site. So, I think we might as well get into it. So, why don't we see whew, just how bad this one's going to be. Okay, so, not, not great already. I wonder if I can cause... Some sort of infight in here. Okay, so they're, they're fighting. So that's exactly what I wanted. Someone, someone to fight. Ooh. Just keep going in circles, Doom Guy. That's all you need to do. However, I don't think these Mankey Buyers are gonna be very much. Hell, ow. Because they they keep getting so close to the wall and then being unable to do anything, so that's not helpful. Okay. 
Uh, actually, they're starting to have a couple of fights down there, it looks like. Like, a few legitimate fights are there. There is just so many scorch marks on the walls. Holy shit! But we're gonna keep doing our, our spin strategy. Can't stay in one place for too long. But why is it Plutonia 2? Because it's the one that comes after Plutonia 1. Okay, you are not cooperating, and therefore you must die. Oh, uh, now there's a bunch of cacos that, you know, weren't there a second ago. They, uh, uh, I finally fired off a rocket, and it appears to have pissed off the natives. Um, who are now all up in my grill. But it was made by different people? So was Aliens, what's your point? It was, no matter how you swing it, it was made by different people. Only one actress that was the same, that wasn't even the same cat. So the only thing that makes a sequel is its uh, intellectual property. That, and that's quite literally. Okay, yeah, he produced it, so he tossed he tossed in the monies and everything. But he didn't make it. Other people did all the you know the the, 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 the making. I am hitting every fucking shot or missing every fucking shot here. Hang on. I wish I had just a regular shotgun. It'd be so much... I didn't say it was fine. I, I can't even say that this wad is fine in the, in the grand scheme of things. Okay, that fireball is really getting on my nerves now. But yeah, there's nothing saying that this, this wad is fine. Or, or okay. Can I save here? Is this safe? What I'm saying is... It's, fuck. What I'm saying is it doesn't need to be made by the same people to be considered a sequel. Yeah, seriously, can I just get a shotgun? These remnants are really starting to piss me off. It's not an actual one-for-one -one comparison. Obviously not, Jay. Is Arrival 2 a sequel? In the strictest terms? Yes, it is. It shouldn't exist because <laughs> it was very ungood. <laughs> but what stops it from being a sequel? Okay, it's probably dangerous to save here. But I want to do it anyway. Because I like to live dangerously. I love how this Revenant is still after me. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, so I accidentally killed the Mancubi. which resulted in some bad juju with some chain gunners.
Anyway, you need to work on your new Wad Doom 6. <laughs> It'll be one awful level. <laughs> you see, you're arguing your point wrong, Jay. I know what you're actually trying to say. You're just arguing your point wrong. Because what, what your real problem is, is since there's nothing that really set Plutonia apart from a normal Doom Wad, other than the way it was designed, can you call Plutonia 2 a sequel? Fuck. Can you call Plutonia 2 a sequel? when it's not by, made by the same people who designed the first one. That's your actual point. Oh fuck, there's a whole host of boys up there. Wow, okay. This part's gonna be annoying, I can tell already. I don't know if I can get the angle the way I need it to be. So I will criticize you if you release Doom 6? No, no, no. I will still allow it. I will critique the level itself, not the fact that you called it Doom 6. I will just criticize the level for being shit. Because by your own admission, it's going to be shit. You know what? Five health, don't care. Let's do this. So, uh... So, Jay, how'd you like my, uh... <laughs> my Spotify rap? Pretty, pretty good, huh? The... Nice representation of music. <laughs> What? What's with the dot dot dot? You don't, you don't like my music choices? Oh, hey, Shades Man. How are you doing? Uh, I want to sponsor the response to the other video showing the area that your dad inspired, but check it out later, of course. Oh, yeah. No, like, <laughs> I love that my dad's level, you know, 20 years in the future is inspiring somebody somewhere. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't save. I'm surprised you found my main channel. It uh, occurred to me some time ago I did not delete <laughs> my main channel from the VOD channel. <laughs> Oops. I have I have some smartening up to do. I I really shouldn't be doing this with with five health. This is everything about this is a bad idea. I was to say I can hear you down there. I know you're there. Anyone else? I almost got half the things down. <laughs> Browsing all too much for that 90s feel. Uh, no, Jay. Um, so, Shades Man here on YouTube was uh, looking at my, like, some of my VODs on my VOD channel. Shit. <laughs> and uh 
he uh, was inspired by Dad, the opening room of Dad's spiral level. <laughs> you know that uh, that masterpiece. <laughs> I shit. I I I should make fun. It was actually one of his better levels, but. It's just funny to think that Dad's, you know, Doomwad from the year, you know, like 2001 <laughs> is inspiring anybody to do anything. Oh yes, it, it, it had a lot of random doors and switches. That, but he, it's the shape of the room that I think Shades Man said inspired him, not. Not the mechanics of the room and such shit. I'm now in the pit. Anna! Uh, bite fire? Do I want to know how to get the one secret? I will hold off for now. I will find it. I'm gonna find it, and it's gonna be so satisfying when I find it. Just you wait. I'm gonna use my superior skills. Well, this feels like something. Dad always did have good ideas, though. Spiral Arena Jail. <laughs> Precisely, especially since I made it for a Quake mod, mechanics had to be very different. Yeah, I see exactly. Dad's ideas were good, but that's because Dad did something, you know that I've always said I much more prefer with map making in these old games, or any game really, is that the map has to make sense. So Dad will usually try to make um, maps that are based off of things, you know? Like, uh, you know, he, he wants to, like Arena or his prison wad, for example, are based off of things, which makes the map make more sense. Spiral was one of the ones he just had original design for. Which, I mean, means it had all sorts of misaligned textures. Damn it. Is this gonna be something stupid? It's gonna be something stupid, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. But you see, when you look at Dad's spiral level versus some of his earlier levels, right, they look... It still looks, like, really good comparatively. Well, who doesn't like monster rooms? Everybody loves a good slaughter map. And really, a good slaughter map is exactly what Dad's levels always were. Alright, Bitefire, I'll figure this out. I've tried hitting all the elevators to see if that does something, but it didn't. But we'll figure this out. Slaughter maps are always a lot of fun. And essentially that's what Dad used to make, was, was slaughter maps. Was that the trigger? No. He should get back into it now that he's retired. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, Bitefire, I did it! I did it, sir! I found the switch. Well, Dad's already said that this is probably his last WoW expansion, honestly. He doesn't think he's gonna play anymore after this. Or at least he's not going to purchase another expansion, which means he will eventually get off of it because he'll get burnt off, burnt out from... Okay. <laughs> he's going to get burnt out from playing the same expansion over and over again. The game, as Dad says, has just gotten too big now. He can no longer... He no longer played with the uh, 
same vigor as he used to. I should set him up. I should set him up with the latest editor. It has to be better tools in the 90s. The not Bru Bruiser Brothers. Yeah, no, those uh, those guys are the Gaines demons. It's got got mad Gaines, you know. You see, the problem with trying to set Dad up with another editor, even though it's more powerful and will allow him to do more things. The big fear with Dad, of course, is trying to set him up with something that he's just like. Um, how do I use this? You know, I can see Dad getting frustrated with. A new editor because he doesn't know how to use it. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days when Warcraft was just works and humans and just some fancy races sprinkled in. I mean, I love lo loved past tense. Uh, World of Warcraft. I loved it. I thought, like, I, I and I said in the video that I made. Oh, hello. And I said in a video that I made a long time ago. That a long time ago, like two months ago. <laughs> that I still believe that some of my fondest gaming memories are inside World of Warcraft. And that hasn't changed. I still think back to all my favorite memories and they're inside World of Warcraft. But the game has just gone downhill, it's gotten bloated, it's failed at innovation, it's run by a very questionable company apparently. <laughs> but there's, like, but the game was fun. It was addicting. It, Saved me a lot of money when you think about it, because even though I was paying... Whoops. Even though I was, uh... Even though it was, uh, you know, costing me $15 a month, if I was trying to look for new gaming experiences every month, I'd be spending more than $15 a month. A new game is 60 to 70 you know? So there's an arch file here somewhere because I heard it. It jumped the shark? Yeah, no kidding. The worst thing I think is that any new mechanic that is introduced is immediately discarded in the newest expansion. It's all parasitic design now. They can't figure out how to integrate new features. And the, and the worst part is, is it's not even so much that... Okay, that was weird. Um, that's true, which is why being able to make play custom content for games makes them eternal. Spend one skill in the content. Well, yeah. that's And that's one of the great things about Doom is the fact that the community keeps it alive. So, like, I've... I'm new to Doom streaming in the sense I've been doing it... You know, I haven't been doing Doom streams for a full year yet. But, even as someone who played a lot of Doom growing up, there's all these custom community wads I never even heard of. Until I started streaming on Twitch, at least. So, there's all these cool wads that I'm just discovering. Um, but no, Jay, so that, that is one of the biggest problems. And, and the problem isn't even so much that they can't integrate new features because the worst part is is they can and have done it before the the issue is just they don't know how to build off a system once it exists now so they'll come up with this gimmick which will be like a cool gimmick but then they're like but how do i continue this gimmick into the next expansion and they don't know how to do it right so in legion the gimmick was is this painful? No. 
the gimmick was everybody got a legendary weapon at the beginning of the expansion, and like it was a lore heavy weapon. Like the War Chief's hammer could be yours, for example. So you get the weapon, and you spend the whole expansion leveling it up, gaining powers with it. And, you know, whatnot, whatever. Shit. But then in the next expansion, they were like, can we continue just... Do we just do this forever now? Not have any new weapons and only just have you... Okay, I, I might have been made a mistake just running out here. You know, I never have you get another new weapon ever again. Is that something we could feasibly do? <laughs> Rexar is Bay, not just Batman. He's Bay. Oh fuck, that hurt. That that doubly hurt. That I didn't save. Well, I, I didn't do anything to save really. Oh, hey, loser corner. Well, that's no problem. Doing dishes is very important. Uh, you're here to... But, yeah, so that, that's... Fuck, I just walked right into that. So that's the problem. Now, the problems that have been happening mostly with World of Warcraft in the last couple of years is that the gimmicks that they come up with are not good. <laughs> I just got fucking pincered. Sorry about the nose, by the way. Still trying to get over a slight cold that my baby gave me because she goes to daycare. Kids are freaking dirtbags. So, I mean, I... I... I and over the years, I've played so much World of Warcraft and the stuff that I liked about it has slowly waned. Then, when you put on top of that, that a lot of the people that I played with don't play the game anymore. And by a lot of the people... Jesus Christ. And by a lot of the people, I basically mean everybody. Everybody I used to play the game with doesn't play the game anymore. And that, and that hurts. That hurts, man. Okay, the revenants are killing me. There's, there's too many fucking revenants. Jesus Christ. Why are there so many fucking revenants? Ow. Are you fuckers in fight or something? Jesus. Like, can you all file in single line so, you know, I'm not wondering where you guys are going to try and kill me from? And then the worst part is the lore has just gone off the fucking rails as well. And I think part of the problem is, you know, is like uh, us, a lot of the original developers who had an idea for the story and what the characters were like all left the company. Some for better reasons than others. But now a lot of the characters have like no direction or a weird direction. And I don't know where the story's meant to go anymore. And... Chris Metzen disappeared into a pile of money. Well, that he did. And uh, you know what? He's enjoying every second of it. But at the same time, the man kind of earned it from what, everything that he said after he retired. He, he was having panic attacks working at Blizzard. And I, and I don't know for... That hit my fucking pinky toe! did like 900 damage to shit is this and I don't even know if it was Blizzard itself I feel like Chris put so much pressure on himself that he was giving himself panic attacks which is a real big shame because I mean that that man of absolute talent ends up not not working at the company anymore and it's because he felt because he had almost like a reputation as being somebody who made the greatest stories and games, I guess he put a, an immense amount of pressure on himself. 
and then when their unreleased MMO failed to materialize, and they ended up having to cancel it, he really hurt himself mentally doing that. And then he put even more pressure on himself to make sure Overwatch was good. So by the time Overwatch, fi fuck's sake! So by the time Overwatch finally released, he was he was done. He couldn't do it anymore. Which is really sad. But at least now he's doing what he loves to do. He's drawing for comics. He's um, he's he has a board game company now. I think. Speaking of ruining a game through expansions, overarching! <laughs> Fucking overarching. <laughs> yeah, poor Overwatch is having a rough go of it, isn't it? Okay. Okay. I, uh. I deserve that, I guess. And trying to pinpoint the exact reasons why Overwatch has the bad fuck has the bad rap it does is I feel it feel like they've unbalanced the shit out of it. I love how they just legit are giving up and putting out Overwatch 2. Yeah, but they're even fucking that up because they can't they can't release it. It's unfortunate either way. Getting into that industry is a dream for many, but companies change and AAA studios have a lot of drama. Well, the biggest problem with video the video game industry is the problem that happens whenever money gets involved with art, essentially. Because there was a time when video games were created by gamers. It, it, was, it was a thing made by gamers for gamers. But once people started realizing the amount of money you could st make off of video games, that's when you start getting your large AAA companies who get obsessed with making their fucking money. And everything gets just a little bit ruined. Indie studios are studios that have the indie spirit. They themselves were in a slump with the Call of Doom until they had new inspiration. Yeah. But even then, yeah, it was the whole thing. As you said, they were stuck in this. They were making, like, a Call of Doom thing. And it wasn't until they said, wait a fucking second, this isn't what Doom is. So they went out and made Doom. The way Doom should have been made. Okay, can I get some ammo? Like, just throwing that out there. And yeah, no, in indie games are usually the best, but the, the issue that you will have with indie games... Or am I talking about Bioware Magic? Bioware Magic is a different problem altogether. <laughs> Bioware, like, but even if you say, like, Bioware Magic... Oh, for fuck's sake... Don't expect my prayers to be answered. Shit, okay. Well, maybe I can get them to infight. Oh, come on, Spider, come on. He's just punching you. Use your gun! Thank you. But yeah, Bioware Magic was a different problem altogether, where a company had been sniffing its own farts for so long that they felt that they could do no wrong. So they never, they had a lot of problem with, you know, saying no, like we shouldn't do this, right? And then they had problems with EA, so then there was the upper management. But they got so obsessed with the idea of everything kind of always came together in the end. 
until it finally, you know, didn't. And then we end up with a game that, uh, a couple of games, actually, that, uh, okay, so this, this, this was safe? All right. Yeah, so we end up with a couple of games that end up being ex mediocre at best and terrible at worst. But you see, the reason why that a lot of people still want to buy AAA games is, let, let's take Bioware, for example. You will never be able to find anything that looks as good as Anthem did. No indie studio can do what they did with Anthem. Aesthetically. Because no matter how much people shit on Anthem as a terrible game, a reputation it, it rightfully earned, um, it's necessary... Or, sorry, I, I didn't finish my thought. As much as it deserved that entire reputation that it had, um, nobody could look at that game and say it wasn't absolutely gorgeous. And that the art team was out of this world. And they had made, like, diamonds <laughs> out of rocks. But you'll never, and you'll never find that with an indie game. You'll never get that sort of open world, beautiful experience. A lot of people said that when you were flying through the environments of Anthem, it hit so different because they had never experienced anything like that before. And that's tech you'll never be able to do in an indie studio, right? But then Bioware went ahead and ruined that by constantly saying, let's not have flying. Oh wait, let's put the flying back in because it was the only cool thing we were doing. Oh no, take the flying out. And the worst part is, every time you flip-flop on that, you have to redo all your levels. Because if you had a level that was made for flying, and you take out a flying, well, that level doesn't work anymore. So... <laughs> uh, so I actually passed a secret. Approaching the blue key lowers a part of the walkway with two health bonuses on it south of this area. Right west of the blue door, allowing you access to a hidden teleporter. Quickly enter it before it closes to get to the eastern balcony with the green armor. Okay, so so I'm over this way. Triple A makes the money and has the fidelity. Indy has the spirit and the art style, but not quite Triple A levels. It's an order of magnitude or a few orders bigger. You see, like when you take something like Hades, for example. Wait, what is this? Approaching the blue key lowers a part of the walkway with two health bonuses on it in the south of this area. Does it only happen one? Oh no, there we go. I was about to say, does it only happen once? <laughs> well, yeah, we take something like Hades, and Hades was absolutely beloved. People loved it. I actually haven't had a chance to play it, but people loved the shit out of Hades. But no matter how you swing it, it's, it's still going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. But no matter how you swing it, it's still, you know, a dungeon crawler. A apparently fantastic dungeon crawler that did all the dungeon call crawling things correctly. But that's all it is. It's a dungeon crawler. Nothing, nothing unique in that sense, right? Anthem was something that was brand new in a lot of ways. But then they wrapped it up incorrectly with this looter shooter attitude. Uh, something they didn't know how to do and didn't listen to the people on their team. The guys who had worked on Destiny. Uh, or not Destiny, sorry. SWOTOR. Um, didn't, they didn't fucking listen to them about how to do MMO type things or multiplayer type things. And then we ended up with a game that just didn't work. Go through the other door up the stairs. See the left door to find yourself overlooking the door to the map start. Call forward one level onto the blood vat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yay, I have a gun. <laughs> 
Australia still is having turnover rates worse than restaurants, but then companies no longer need the team. Well, and that's a problem we have across the board. Um, that no matter shit, fuck. <laughs> it's almost like no matter where you work in the modern day and age, companies will always view their lowest like ranking people as expendable. And there's so many examples. There's a, a subreddit, a famous subreddit kicking around right now, which is called Anti Work. This is not going well for me. And basically, what Anti Work is, it, it it's a subreddit that is dedicated to like ending work, but that's a dumb thing to to work towards. However, what it does do is show plenty of examples of basically just garbage working conditions and, and, and bosses and fuck and the video game industry is no different they I fucking hate revenants not as much as pain elementals but I hate revenants and so they have so little respect for um, the actual workers especially since they know it's a dream of people and actually that's all the ammo I get for the rocket launcher of course it is I wish I could get a mega sphere or something that'd be delicious right now um and actually, this is a problem with a lot of industries that have, like, dreams. They're where the people dream of having them. Another, another good example is uh, pilots. So, how many people have, like, became pilots because they've always dreamed of flying? They've, they've always wanted to fly. It was their... Well, fuck. Well, fuck. Fuck everything. Everything fuck fuck. It was her dream to fly. And because companies like your your airlines no nope, fuck. I just killed myself that time. Know that people are trying to who are trying to become pilots because it's their dream. I keep killing myself because I don't want to be in that room for very long. And that's why I don't want to be in that room for very long. Um they know they can get away with not paying pilots very much. Oh, thank God. On the other hand, this is the only archfile on the map, so there's one thing to be grateful for. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, anything that's labeled as a plutonium map. This is the only archfile. So. And my friend who's a pilot kind of dealt with that uh, quite a bit. They know, like, they know that they'll always have people who will replace pilots. Because it's a dream of so many people. And a competitive job as a result. So if there's any burnout on the part of pilots, don't worry. There will be more lined up and ready to go. And because of that, it's the same problem with the video game industry. And it's why you see so much turnover. And I think in the modern day problem we have too is a lot of, you know, people... Yeah, the grass is always greener. Like my friend, he still has his piloting job, but now he, does, he doesn't pilot commercial anymore. It's just not... Doesn't pay well enough and not fun. So he's actually moved into photography, doing something completely different. And he's doing decently well for himself with his photography, but not quite enough that he can't do like keep doing his pilot job for now. But his goal is to one day not have to do it anymore, basically. More time home with his wife and kids. Not getting exploited because it's his dream. You know? So, but think about that. Pilot being a pilot was his dream, and it got squeezed out of him essentially. Ah. 
And I'll admit that making games was a dream of mine when I was young. And I'm actually kind of glad I ended up not getting into that industry. But I also don't live in a place where it's easy to get that kind of job, so that that industry was a little off limits for me anyway. Woo! But the biggest problem we're having now is like so many people are like, why do why do so many people want to be Twitch streamers? And and the honest answer is nobody wants to work the nine to five anymore, because it's shit. And the argument that I've always had is people are like, are cute kids these days just lazy? And I'm like, no. The issue is when our parents went to work for a shitty job, they could still like afford things. <laughs> like they worked the shit job, but they got to work the shit job and have a house at the end of the day, right? My dad managed to work his way through university in a retail store, for fuck's sake. You can't fucking do that now. We're gonna finish the level off with a couple of shotgunners. Dope. So, it's kind of hard to motivate yourself to work in a shit job, nine, eight hours a day, plus commute, when you can't even, like, afford food at the end of it. Jay's probably watching wrestling, so he doesn't see that I got 100% of it. Yeah, meanwhile, he'd have to work two jobs of that pay caliber just to live at home. Well, in high price areas, yeah. Um, and that's exactly the problem. So, back then, it was I think it was easier to swallow working a garbage job when you, when, when you had the ability to pay off your bills with said garbage job. Because, frankly, if you're not stressed about money, it's amazing how much better your mental health is when you're not worried about money. Right? Like, I have money worries, but I have not had to worry about being able to pay my rent in, like, eight years. And... And I don't pay rent now. I, I'm... I have a house, so, no. Monthly house bill. Uh, right? So, I don't have to worry about my bills. And that is such a load off when you're working at the job. Because while I could say, man, I don't get paid enough for this, you would be like, but it could be so much worse. Right? And I think I'm in the situation that my parents were in where I'm... Or dad, because my mom didn't really work. Uh, dad was in where it's like the job is stressful and it can burn you out but you know you can afford a home off of it now I'm still financially better off than my father was my father had too many kids and became a teacher so you know but you know he was able to do that and I'm able to do that but or, or the wife and I together are able, are able to do that but that's not something that's most jobs now you can't do that so it, it it's the job is garbage as it is what map are we on the map is gar the the jesus okay hi the job is garbage as it is but then you toss in the fact that uh you can't pay your bills with it on top of it and nobody wants to work those jobs anymore and people have seen what being a high-end Twitch streamer can get you, monetary-wise, if you're one of the top people. Um, so the idea of being your own boss, getting fame, uh, making more money than you could ever dream of, and getting to do what you what you love doing anyway, like playing video games or talking to people. That that's a dream, man. <laughs> Kids aren't in my future, but I never wanted them, so around working a lot I can map a mod, Jimmy, laser tag, whatever. Yeah. 
You see, I have, uh, I have a child, right? And I got, ooh, okay, that's an arch file. It's not awake yet, let's keep it that way. And my, uh, and all I ever really wanted, I didn't really have, like, a dream job per se. Like, I always said if I had, ha like, where I had to have a job, I wanted to be game, like, game design. And uh, I dodged a bullet there. Okay, seriously, get the fuck out of my way. Um, but all I really wanted was to be a dad, so any monetary desires I had were actually kind of centered around that. The fact that I wanted to be a dad and I wanted to support, uh, blah, 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 blah. Shit, shit, shit. I wanted to provide for my family. So I'm glad I'm in a space monetarily where I can do that. Okay, this is being bad now. The ammo situation is out of control again. That is an elevator. I don't want to be down here. Okay, like... Once again, Plutonius 2 strikes again. I'm unable to get a foothold in the level, and that's the worst part. You need to get a fucking foothold. This is not getting a foothold, by the way. This is quite opposite of a foothold. And my punching is just not... not doing it. What? Like, why? Why am I missing so much? Okay, I have one health left, so I'm just gonna end up dying. So. <laughs> Now, I do this more for fun than any, like, hope that it will lead to something different. Like, if it became a career, awesome, but I don't hold out that kind of hope. And I, frankly, I think that keeps me motivated to keep doing it more than anything else. Um, fuck. At least it is an artificial difficulty. Well, that's actually something I, I spoke to uh, Loser Corner about um, last stream, I think. Because he was saying about... Uh, got stuck on the wall. If he were to make a Doom level, he's like, would it be cruel to just start you off in a room with, um, you know, a pistol and having to fight a bunch of, like, baby spiders? You know, your Arachnatron. Like, is there anywhere safe? You know, like, just like Arachnatrons. And I say, it really kind of depends on how you do it. Like, if you just give me a wide open room with a pistol and say, go to town, that that's just wasting my time. Because I can just circle, circle strafe around the spider shooting my pistol. So the challenge is rather just, you're wasting my time, rather than it being any true challenge. But, if you can, you know, like, I guess the proper word might be make gimmicks out of it. Like, okay, in this room, the Arachnatron is a level above you, so you have to position yourself correctly. Like, make a puzzle out of it somehow, like, how do you defeat an Arachnatron with a pistol in this situation? Or how do you do it in this situation? Is is something that perhaps could be explored. Okay, where is the arch file? Okay, he's right there. Okay, did he res that shit, or is it just there? Okay, I gotta load. I've, I've done fucked up now. Okay, where am I supposed to go to get ammo and health and... 
anything for that matter. Okay, I've got I got some health and ammo. We have we have a foothold. Um Yeah, so that's the thing, is like if you can make some sort of gimmick out of it and make it like you're solving a puzzle by trying to by having to defeat a Arachnatron with a pistol, then you have something. Otherwise you're just you're just kinda being an asshole. <laughs> Okay, so I guess picking up that sphere is what caused the arch file to spawn last time. What does this do? G! Hello, G! I found the G. He apparently, the, the this developer hides G's everywhere. But, uh, Shades Man, do you make, uh, content yourself? Uh, are you a YouTuber, or are you just watching? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. You do have a habit of backspawning monsters on players occasionally, but as long as it's playable. Oh, you're watching any map. Don't. Like, I've, I've thought about mapping, but I don't think I have a... I don't really have an original idea of my body, so... I feel like it would be a waste me messing around with it. But, maybe Jay's right and I should be trying to get my dad back into it after all these years. As for most people, he started playing World of Warcraft, and everything else just fell by the wayside. And now he's retired, so now would be the perfect time to pick it back up, but he's still just playing so much World of Warcraft. Like, everywhere I go is just dangerous. Why? And how is this wormhole zone? What about this makes it a wormhole zone? I think ideas are but exploration on things you see. Case in point, I have steps with gaps in them. I like to shine evil red light through them. Cool Shadows. I got it from Quake Episode 4. Sandy Pearson, Matt. Again, Quake Engine. Don't talk to me about that stupid Sandy Pearson episode. I'm gonna upload a VOD to that channel soon. I think it's still on this channel, actually, if you look for it. Of me recently doing Quake Remastered. And doing that Sandy Pearson episode. And absolutely losing my fucking mind. Lost my fucking mind trying to do that episode. Hey, by far, are you still watching? Have I? Are there... Fuck. Are there secrets? I know there's. It, it says there's two. But I'm. I'm starting to wonder now. Have I? Well, the spawns were getting to me, but I think what was really killing me by the end was that that those stupid, bouncy, splody spl slime things. They were doing me in. I was... Woo! <laughs> but you see, I've played Quake twice on the channel. Once the original Quake, and then when Remaster got added to Steam, I replayed it. If you watch the VOD from my 
original Quake playthrough, you'll see somebody who's losing their fucking mind. Oh, I thought you meant, like, shit, like, teleporting in while I was... ...playing, like, spawning in. Because that was a problem in a couple of his levels where it's like, did you get all the kills? No, because you had full ammo and didn't get the ammo pickups. And yes, the, uh... Yeah, the spawns are what... ...what got me. I was... I was not having a good time. <laughs> it was a... It was a rather bad time. But because Quake Remastered makes playing the game just easier in general, it sucked less doing it remastered. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. But doing it, you know... The original way, I was, I, oh, I, oh. I was, I was not having a good day, let's put it that way. Okay, so, blue key. Oh, I can't go in this way, this is, uh, the, there's invisible windows. Um... Invisible windows are just the worst, aren't they? Am I not gonna get punished for picking this up? I feel like I should get punished. Punish me, daddy. I'm never saying that again, that was weird. Okay. I can see the arch file. I can see these. I can feel these guys putting bullets into the back of my head. I still don't know why this is a wormhole zone. Is that the only arch file on the map? Because that would be glorious if it... Why is that a secret? That wasn't even hidden, it was just there. Did I miss something? You just clip brush the windows into the spiral on my inspired area as you spoke. But to be fair, it's iffy visually if you can fit, and I don't want to add ledge grab on a curved spiral, so... I mean, I, I, I applaud Dad for trying to do a spiral room, because Doom is definitely made for straight lines. Which is the exact opposite of what his spiral... It wasn't even a spiral, it was a, it was a football. But I applaud him for trying. So, where the fuck am I going here? I am just all over the place. This map is non-linear to the max. Now, that's a good thing in a lot of ways. Uh, non-linear maps do have their advantages, but it also means you have to be a bit more careful with balancing your level, because if you go in the wrong direction, it can be detrimental. Okay. There's the arch file. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. No bringing back the dead. Pretend you're a genie. It's against the rules. Combined Doom and Quake is trippy. Yeah, I would, uh, I would agree. They're two different engines trying to do two completely different things. I would dare say it's pretty iffy. Okay, how do I... How do I... How do I do things? Do I go out of the window up here? I do. I even said there's no way I'm not gonna get punished for that one. That that was a trap. It's a trap. This 
map is kind of eh. Like the concept's okay, but it's it's kind of eh. Whatever, I'll take that. I'll just add transport bars where I clip brushed. <laughs> See, now you're figuring it out. You can make that football work. I think my favorite part of that level that Dad made was the uh, the Great Hall from the original Dune movie. Like, when you know the context of it, it's really cool, I guess. But, like, if you don't, it just looks like a giant nothing. <laughs> just a big room, and you're like, oh, it's actually based on something. Ew. You better not raise that cackle demon. Don't you dare raise that cackle demon. Thank you. Okay, well, I saw a Baron spawn in. I guess that's why it's a windowed area. Stop these guys from coming in. Stand on a cackle to prevent res. Yeah, because I don't want him resing shit on me. I still hate Pain Elementals more than any other enemy. Pain Elementals are actually the worst. Ow. 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 Can you, can you stop? Stop, stop. <laughs> I tried to box, it didn't work out for me. Gotta kill these games demons in the meantime. Look, this is my ball next. Stop trying to use it. I meant to pull out the berserk. But, uh, I forgot I had a chain gun. Okay, so that bottleneck's cleared out now. And now we have another arch file. So to answer my previous question, no, those weren't the only arch files in the level. How many of you fuckers are there? Like, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have killed you first. There we go. Jesus. I love how they gave me a BFG and not a plasma rifle. Like, that, that's some regged riches store there. <coughs> how many enemies are left? 20. Well, I'm running really low on ammo. So, I might need to start improvising a little bit here. Try to become a boxer. That wasn't the weapon I wanted. Hey Francis, what is up, sir? How you doing this evening? Were you doing any streaming? Uh, I can't believe I'm alive. That uh, 
that seemed odd. That I, that I survived that. How am I missing one enemy? Oh, found him. Perfect! Let's go! Oh, you did a map last evening. Shit, I didn't get 100% items. Jay's not here. Do, 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 do. It's okay, Jay. I'm not doing too bad. Just playing some Plutonia 2. Um, it's been pretty okay so far. Five secrets. Jesus Christ. Cosmodrome. That's a cool name. Oh fuck. Um I I didn't mean to Let's go back. <laughs> I just, let me just double check here that there is nowhere else to go. Like I can't squeeze through there. No. I heard an arch file. That's a great Wait, wait, wait. Map eleven waiting room. What do I need to know about map eleven? Sounds like I, 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 I'm going to hear quite a lot about this map with the, the sounds I'm hearing. Oh, fuck. It just sides to... Okay. Okay, I shouldn't be allowed to play Doom today, apparently. <laughs> I don't got much going for me. I, uh, very questionable skills today. Okay, well, I'll make sure. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make sure I get to map uh, 11 tonight. Then I don't want to make you guys leave without. If that, if that's the map that I need to be worried about, I'll try to make sure you guys get to see it tonight. Hopefully, this map won't take too long. Ah, I had to scratch. It's not fair. My eyebrow was itchy. Jesus. So, Francis, do you stream anything other than uh, map testing? Do you ever just, like, play some random mods for fun? I've always kind of wondered, because whenever I do see you streaming, it does appear that you're... Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck me up the ass. It, it does seem that whenever you're streaming, you're doing some map testing. So I was just kind of wondering, like, if you ever just on stream been like, you know what? I'm gonna play, like, back to Saturn today. Ah! I get stuck! Help! Send help! Oh, I thought he was... I, I thought he was preoccupied. Oh, actually, not as much recently. Okay, I got you. Fuck. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I literally killed myself. I just kill me. Just kill me. This, this is just fuck. <laughs> just kill me. Just kill. Me. Okay, no, never mind. We're on a roll now. Is this a secret? Why why is this different if it's not a secret? I feel this should be a secret. Oh fuck. I am okay now now it's not funny anymore. I am running out of health. I'm running out of ammo. At least the remnants are dead, so that should make my life a little bit easier. Now if I can get rid of these imps. I can berserk these boys. Okay, no, that that was a shy performance, but you know what? You know what? We're gonna save anyway. You only live once, right? So you better do 
you better have 11 percent all you need is 11 percent health to live once and now they gave me a rocket launcher how bad could it be see not a problem <laughs> absolutely not a problem at all everything's fine I literally st stared at it for some reason as opposed to as opposed to like turning around and walking away so I at least see where I was going because I got stuck on the wall trying to escape. <laughs> Can I have your shotgun? I'm kind of shotgunless down here. I'm in a map that somehow gives you a rocket launcher before a shotgun. So could you maybe no? Okay. But this just takes me back up here. What good is that? Oh no 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 Oh Dope I almost ruined it by dying to Lost Soul after using him as a meat shield. So that would have been embarrassing. Oh, nothing showed up. The pain in the ass elemental is Big Mac. <laughs> the like I don't I don't know who hurt the person that came up with the idea of a pain elemental. But I hope they got the help that they need. Cause clearly they need Jesus. I hope they found him. And the Revenants don't want to fight now, because of course they don't. I was giving them permission to fire rockets, and then they just wouldn't do it. Like, I do feel like Revenants and mods, like community mods, are really overused. And they get irritating as a result, but I still feel like... Pain elementals were the worst. You could say they found Cthulhu. Cthulhu would still be a more positive um, influence on them, I think. And help them get the help that they need. Hashtag Ch Cthulhu did nothing wrong. I'm doing shit wrong because I keep walking in front of fireballs. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Oh, kill me over here! I don't. Jesus fucking Christ! Kill me! I don't want you to feel bad about not killing the Doom guy. So, everybody get in here. I don't know where this accent came from, but everyone get in here. Just shut up! Get out of my way! No. No, 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 no. Stop with the chain gun. Very bad. I will say, in ter like, if I was to take all of it, yes. All of it games, the, the, the spawn was the, the worst. And, it, and that's not even a competition. I... Pain Elementals have never made me lose my fucking mind. But those spawns, man. Like, it actually. Spawns made me denounce religion. Because if there was, in fact, a kind and just God, he would have smote the people at Id who dared develop such a shit enemy. And, and whoever had the audacity to use them in their level. So, Sandy. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you. Asshole. You're fucking slime bullshit. It wouldn't even be so bad if it didn't explode. Oh, that's not good. This bad. This is very ungood. 
This is very dangerous. I'm in danger. Well, no, I mean, at least there's no, uh, Archvile, I guess. Well, I missed, uh, you know how they say you miss 100% of the shots you never take? I seem to be missing 100% of the shots I do take, so I'm starting to think that that saying is a load of horseshit. Well, yes, of course, The Simpsons hasn't been good in years, but Ralph Wiggum. Gold. I, I actually don't know if The Simpsons is because they're bad. I haven't watched it in years. I just go about what everybody else says, which that is not good. Okay. Oh, it lets me hear. Oh, thank you for the shotgun. Thank you, I appreciate it. So I don't know if you guys have been watching The Simpsons. Maybe you can let me know if it's actually any good. Maybe I'm just being harsh on it. But as you can't see, like, some of the classic Simpsons episodes were just so goddamn funny. That I can't see that, and a lot of them in, like, the later seasons that I did watch. Which was, like, season 10, so, like, 20 seasons ago. Just weren't weren't that funny. I mean, someone must be enjoying it. They're still on TV. Somebody's fucking watching it. Just like everyone says Nickelback is a shit band, but you know what? Clearly somebody's buying Nickelback records, so... I'm beginning to think there's a lot more people claiming to hate Nickelback than actually hate Nickelback. Shit. <laughs> I forgot. The sh oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. How do I? How do I get to the? Uh... I want. I want the armor. How do I? How do I armor? I want. I want the armor. Okay. Can I have the... Please? I'll, I'll give you five bucks, just... Just please give me the armor. Please? Also, why is there just one box here? That seems like a really... Odd thing to just have out in the open out there. It's just a, a box. Okay, that doesn't lead anywhere different either. Does the ones in the back lead somewhere different, maybe? No, it's all the same thing. Okay. Man, this one's got like a mad baseline, which I can respect. I need a blue key to open that door, huh? Is there like a switch or something I can shoot? Hang on, that texture looks different. Okay, it look it is different, but it means nothing. Um, well, this is inspired by uh, a particular Doom level, clearly. The only difference is whoever invented, whoever built this room is very bad storing extra boxes. So, just like that level, is this where all the secrets are going to be? They're going to be, going to be shootable walls. Map 10 of not Plutonia. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not Plutonia is my favorite Doom game. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been wasting my chain gun. I've just been firing kind of wildly. Just. Come on, is there no secrets here? Come on. No, no. Come on! Aha! But if it's actually inspired by that level, there should be like four of those in here. In fact, all five of this level secrets should be in here. Also, that one's different too. I feel like that should be... That should be one as well. Okay, is this whole fucking thing an homage to map 10? Like... Jesus Christ. They're really showing their hand here. I forgot, I have Invisibility Sphere. I'm playing the game on hard mode. Seriously, this power-up is good for dealing with hit scanners and literally nothing else. It is absolute garbage. Oh, fuck, I panicked. <laughs> I, I straight panicked. Give me a hug. Okay, this didn't work out quite the, well, the way I... <laughs> Glorious. Fucking, fucking glorious. Ooh, double kill. Guys, I'm, I'm the half decent at doom, I swear to God. I swear to God. Just don't let those minor things... Minor things get you. I already forgot that was there. So, uh, did anybody else do their Spotify uh, wrap-up for this year? What Spotify tells you about, like, your... Your uh, best, or the artists that you've listened to the most and all that? Anybody else do that? You've probably seen many people make tweets about it at this point. Including myself. I'm sh I'll am shamelessly hop on a uh, trend. I don't give a shit. I need them glorious clicks, man. Okay, sniped him down. Now, is there actually anything in here? No. It doesn't appear the floor hurts you either, so that's awesome. Alright, well, I guess I'm going across. Wait, what's that down there? Well, hello there. Where are you taking me? Ah, there we go. Ooh. 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 Beautiful. See, I can find secrets. I'm good at secrets. Oh, shit. Oh, it's actually not a big deal. They go all the way down. Don't go all the way back up. The fuck you come... What the fuck is going on? Soul Sphere. <laughs> Maybe I should turn that on, because that thing's funny. Anyway, because I was going to say, I, I did my Spotify wrap-up. Because I was actually kind of curious, because I wasn't keeping track of what I was listening to on Spotify at all this year. So I was really curious to see what... What kind of weird trends I caused. And I love how my, my top artists were... Two, what you might consider consider progressive rock bands. Um, two metal bands. And to round things out, Lady Gaga. <laughs> I am not sorry. But of course, anybody looking at that is like, what? 
We're not getting punished for this? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I listen to some dance pop every once in a while. You know, bang your head to some metal, and then you're like, you know what? It's time for some Gaga. I'm not ashamed. I don't think this music really fits the level so much. It sounds kind of Egyptian, which is actually the second time this has happened. Where the music is like vaguely Egyptian. Oh, I, um, I was not covered. Okay, got them pain chances. Oh, was that the actual exit? No, but I appear to be going down to the exit. Is there a way back out of this exit when I'm done? Because, I mean, I'm missing secrets. I'd, I'd love the opportunity to try and find them. If not, I'm actually kind of irritated. I absolutely hate it when maps do that. They lock you in the exit area so you can't go back if you've missed something. However, it's good to know... It's good to know that all the enemies are down here. So I know that I can leave safely. Or load safely and not have to look for monsters, just look for the secrets. I'm not going to look too long for the secrets, because when your pistol starting, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, it doesn't really make a difference what you're doing, because uh, hmm. it doesn't make a difference what you do, because you're going to lose everything at the beginning of the next level anyway, so if I want to give up looking for Looking for secrets? That is well within my ability to do so. Hmm. Where am I missing stuff would be the question. Now, I was trying to see if, like, any one of these corner ones, because the, for some reason there's something on the outside of the map out there. And I don't know if that's something I can actually get to. Which, of course, bothers me somewhat, that I don't know for certain if I can get to parts of the map that I can see on the auto map. But again, like, how do I get this? Like, I feel like that ar that mega armor is definitely a secret. But how do I get it? Like, is does it come down? Like, I can't make that jump from here, can I? I don't. I don't think that's a jump I can make. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a jump, jump I can make. Yeah, that, that really doesn't seem like something I can do. But then, how do you get it? Also, cool trick having the... Uh, Exit on the other side of the starting area, even though the exit is something like Doom Guy could have fucking vaulted over that and been boom, I'm out. But he chose not to because of reasons. That is a fucking switch. That is a fucking scam. I am bitter about that one. Oh my god. 
However, now I've hit the real big problem. Where's the last one? I think that's going to be the problem is where do I even start with the last one? Because that one was clearly there. So I at least had an idea of where I should be trying to go, but... Now I don't even know where I should be looking. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that none of these lead to anything, but... I almost feel like I still need to check. anything come on let me back up jeez what's taking so long I will at least appreciate this map for trying to oh thanks by fire Although it's hard to tell by fire if you're just being nice or you're just like, get the fucking map 11 already, would you? Wasting my time, asshole. <laughs> okay, I got that one. Wait, are you are you serious? <laughs> just being helpful. I, I I actually know that you're just being helpful, but Wait well, see in this day and age you can never assume anybody's good intentions anymore. They may be like, oh I want to help you so much and then it's like, but I just want to get the likes that off Twitter. I don't actually give to charity, I give I buy tweets. <laughs> What would you say? Uh, just finished see it. Fancy took a minute because I had to skew it on a slant and align into the spiral shape. Gotta go for now. VR chat to sleep before night. All right, man. Thanks so much for popping in. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you back sometime soon. And I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see you again. I'll be back Friday with some Dead by Daylight if that's something you might be interested in. It's like my, my new favorite game. But don't worry about fire, we're gonna get out of here now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna redo this room. And then we're gonna get out. See you, Shades, man. You take care as well. Alright, let's do this. Map 11. God, I even got all the items. Jay would be proud if he wasn't watching wrestling. Oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. I do not. I don't like the sound of arch violence at all. That, that don't. That no bueno. I uh. I kind of. I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to go in here, bite fire. Um. What time is it? Can I leave for the day? Can I, Can I? 1009. Um. I can leave, right? <laughs> well, they wouldn't just do another. Oh, they are doing another Archfile maze, are they? 
great. I I can't wait. Oh, it's rage. Uh, how? Okay. But how though? What am I? What what information am I, am I, am I not privy to? <laughs> oh, I can go this way. Okay. Um. Wait, like, up, wait, up here somewhere? Okay, I, I read that one wrong. Oh, like, over, oh, shit. <laughs> you mean right here? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks for the heads up. I don't know what the fuck to do about this now. AVG not a secret? I'm not, I'm not sure what AVG is. I'm just... I'm just ignorant. Eh. I don't think this makes me a wimp, right? All right, one down and 83 to go. This all seems rather reasonable. Get the fuck around the corner! Stop it! <laughs> it's only really good at the beginning of the map. Why would it not be good later? I'm getting, like, all punch off. I'm <laughs> like, that's literally what I'm doing. I'm getting, like, all punch off before they try to wreck my face. I didn't get any punches off that time. Oh, that's what you mean. It's not that the Megasphere would be useful. It would just be impossible to get it, basically, later on. All right, I got one of them. Aha! Take that, bitches. I'm on roids now. I don't need no fucking gun. What does this do? Anything? Nothing? Do I shoot that? No? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Can I get you to get up close to the gate, please? We'll do this. I'm gonna kill every single one of these bastards. Don't you doubt it for even a second. We're gonna we're gonna spend all night doing this, guys, if we have to. I'll punch every single one of these bastards to death if need be. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! I got stuck on the rim. God, stop being wise. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. Don't worry, guys. Is this the content you 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 log into Twitch to see? This is the content you come in here to see, right? 
exactly how you how you want your doom streams to go. Come here. Ooh, I got two off that time. Fuck me. I thought he was still within range. That was my stupidity. My bad, guys. See, the problem with arch files is the fucking fire in front of your face. You can't see shit. So I can't see where I'm going, like, at all. That was a bit risky. Huh, okay. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, guys. I've got the plan down. We're just gonna fucking punch our way to victory. I don't know how we're gonna do it, because I'm sure there's areas where punching them, punching to victory is not gonna be the best strat. But I'd like to believe there will be a point where they'll give me, like, maybe a super shotgun? A super shotgun would be nice. But, like, I'm, like, five minutes into level, minus all the loading. And I still don't have... I still only have, like, five kills. Someone tell Jay this is why it's Plutonia 2. They they literally took the idea an idea from Plutonia 1 and amplified it. That's exactly what a sequel is supposed to be. Oh! Fuck, where'd you come from? Fuck! <laughs> you grab the SSG now, by the way. That's what the closed off when you step forward from you can go around and get it from the other side. I believe you. Oh, actually, I can punch him from here. I didn't know he came this close. No, no, I need you to stay right here. No. Come here. This is the opposite of what I need you to do. Come here. Okay, I feel like he's close enough there. Oh, or was. Okay, so you're saying I can, like, go around to the other side. Just like so. Oh, and they, come, and they just come down. Okay. I'll wait for him to get closer now. I'll punch his lights out, too. That, okay, that, that didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. But once again, the fire beam in my field of vision is really fucking shit up. Luckily, these guys don't have a ton of health. Okay, I don't trust any BFGs. BFGs are not to be trusted. Okay, so he... I can't kill him from down here. That's just unreasonable. Okay, then. This is a, an SSG-type situation here. But is there really fucking 84 arch files? That that seems like too many arch files. On an unbelievably nar large and ridiculous number of arch files. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Guys, I'm scared. 
I heard one wake up, but I don't know where he woke up from. And now I hear one. Alright, okay, so they're teleporting. I don't... I don't know what to do with this information. What is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Okay, guys. Guys, I'm fucking up a little bit here, but don't, but don't worry, I'll figure this out. D don't worry, guys, I'm gonna figure this out. I got this. Don't even worry about it. Now, I know it would probably help if I could land my shots. I hear it's really important in an, in an FPS to actually aim and hit the target. I hear it's actually probably one of the most important things to do when, when playing an FPS. Yeah, I don't... Oh I, oh, I don't like this. This no... No bueno. Yeah, I don't like how they made it so I couldn't see. Whatever, I'll take that hit. At least I can get this guy to stand still so I can shoot him. And that time I didn't take splash damage. Because do mechanics. And do I need a rocket launcher bite fire? Or do you just think I do? You've doubted my skills in the past. Which is fair, because I've doubted my skills in the past. And rightfully so. I guess my, my problem is you're saying I need it. I really took a risk there. Uh, <laughs> that was very risky. Like, I hear them in every direction now, so I'm, I'm really trying to save ammo, but I'm starting to question the, uh, the, the wisdom of it. Hang on. Anyone would need a rocket launcher to deal with those two. No, 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 not necessarily anyone. I, I have fluked into doing levels incorrectly but still getting out all right like ah <laughs> what was that one in sunlust like yeah you, you wake up in like some fleshy area you are meant to silently lure the arch files into the teleporters and kill them one by one and that is uh not what i did I alerted everything in that room and, and died numerous times, but I alerted everything in that room and I won. Okay, I don't like the fact that I'm missing, like, every shot against that guy. There we go. There's actually a reason why you're hearing arch files everywhere. There are three arch files outside the boundaries of the map that only exist to make noise, and they get crushed when you enter the final area. Oh, okay. That's cool. Ah! 
That's a that's a, a cool ambiance idea. All right, 19 down. We're really making progress now, boys. What that do? I don't know what that did. I mean, I mean it appears it, it, it did something. I heard something lower. Oh, was it this? Okay, he's a little far away. Okay. I love how this tree doesn't count as cover. Like, bullets go right through that tree. It's the least solid tree I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that arch file got really unlucky on the pain chance there. 21! Oh boy! We're a quarter of the way there. So that switch took away the bars in front of the other BFG. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hi. Okay, we're, we're doing things. Things are happening. This was a bad set of things. Oh, I woke it up. Oh, no, I woke you up. I, I, I don't think I meant to wake you up. Oh, you can fit down this hallway. Uh, that changes things. I don't know how you're fitting down here. Your head appears to be in the ceiling. Um, I can't imagine that's healthy. I feel like that's going to cause some brain hemorrhaging or something. Uh, so you should probably get that checked out. Um... Can you, can you stand still a minute? I need you to... What, like, dude. 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 Oh, okay. I think I just got sniped. Yeah, I think I got sniped from an arch file off in the distance. Uh, yeah, I definitely did. Oh, he's down there. Okay, I see him. That was close. Like, I can see you down there. Oh, I... Th okay. <laughs> I thought I was closer to a... He was farther away from the corner and wouldn't be able to see me. 
How, uh, how ignorant of me. Oh my god, there's four of them in one area. Pretty sure this is illegal. Sunless Map 32 is breaking the law, everyone knows that. Man, they really took this concept and fucking rolled with it, didn't they? They didn't give a shit about who they hurt in the process. And they got stuck on the wall again. Okay, trying to use a shotgun on him might be a problem. Yeah, I feel like I'm not hitting him with enough pellets to really make this war of things. Okay. Um, smooth move by me. Really pushing my luck on this pain chance thing. That was too close. Seriously, this is insanity now. Because I feel like 84 is just excessive. I feel like they're overdoing it. A bit. You know what I mean? Um. Well, I went the wrong direction entirely. Yay, how fun dying from the Archies is great. So... So glad I'm here. I was really thinking, like, until I was dying from the Archies, my my life was too boring. I really needed to be murdered by Archies to really to really feel alive, you know. They say that you never feel alive in, in, until you're almost killed. That's that's the saying, right? Let's go grab one of these. Uh, so that wasn't helpful at, at all in, in, in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm back here. This is probably... yeah. I was like, there's no way that's not going to come back and, and, and bite me in the ass somehow. I can't believe I'm not dead. Holy shit. I live. I have no idea where I'm going, either. All sense of direction has been horribly lost. Where does this bring me? Oh, just... Oh, right here. Okay. Mm, I feel that was too nice. Uh. 
Like, I feel like that switch definitely did something else other than that. Jesus, this map is fucking massive. Okay, there's the BF. Whoops. Doesn't count as a secret, though, apparently. These just open? No, they don't. Okay, um... Take a water break here for a second. Okay, let's explore this way. Okay, I don't know why they put that there. That's not overtly helpful. At least not in the way that I can see. Oh, I'm gonna pay for this. No? Well, I guess if they marked it as a secret, I suppose. But I really felt like they were gonna make me pay for that. Okay, and then I've, I've been up there. Okay, now the arch files are going mad. They're going. To, they're going a bit, a bit cray cray. Uh, hello, torch. Now, according to Bite Fire. I need a rocket launcher to deal with these guys, but I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna prove that I don't need any such thing. Whoops. I know I'm wasting shotgun ammo, and I don't care, I'm proving a point. I took damage there, and I don't care, I'm proving a point. Shit. Okay, you know what? I did fuck that up. That's on me. But I want to do this. I'm going to prove rocket launchers are for wimps. But I need that second one to stop fucking with me for a second here. Whoa, that was close. It's a good thing the angle was actually what I needed it to be to not die from that. We're gonna do this. I'll walk back and forth as many times as it takes. Ah, uh, that would have been a good shot, too. We have this spell of the arch. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'm not wasting pellets. I am 
redistributing the use of them. Fuck. Your bigger problem should be, am I wasting a bunch of time on this? To which the answer is definitely, I am. How come you won't stop right there? Ah, oh, see, see by far ye of little faith. I'm just too good. <laughs> I got so many rockets now, but no rocket launcher to use with it, so. I think I'm the loser here, really. This torch is a different color. Just point that out, th just throw that out there. So that is clearly supposed to be a secret. Uh, the map is uh, very poorly designed as a result. Was I out there? Can I get out there? I still haven't figured out how to open that up. Probably be trying to make my way to the blue key door, which seems to be this way. Okay, it's up there. Can I get up there? Um, no? Not sure why I put stairs there like there was a way up there then. I think that's going to be my biggest problem with this level now, is just trying to remember all the directions I've gone. And what directions are left to explore. Like, in one sense, I'll know I'm in a new direction when I see fire, because there wouldn't be fire in a direction I've already been. Shit. I, uh, fucked it up by falling. Uh, oh! What direction did I just go or come from? And why aren't I fisting? Ah, that would have worked. I almost went around the corner. <laughs> Whee! I'm gonna say, stop moving. Wait, why'd you spawn? I didn't pick up the fucking rockets. Uh, I was hoping the pain chance would kick in. It did not. It didn't again. Actually, you going in there is exactly what I needed, actually. Shit. Switch guns at the worst time. Yeah. Okay, there's two of them. I can't deal with this. With, with my fists. Fuck, I sure I done enough damage. Girl. Love how I just like cried a little. I was like, oh, come on, guys. Uh, 
Rather than you know, while you get a BFG in this map, there's no plasma gun to be found. Somehow that's the least weird thing about all of this. Because there not being a plasma gun is probably the thing I expected most, honestly. I hate how they have just enough health to make your life miserable. I love how the rocket launcher is a piece of shit. <laughs> I love how I, I apparently can't dodge this correctly. Everything was fine, and then I got the rocket launcher, and now I can't play the game anymore. <laughs> See? I can't even fucking walk this, like, tightrope thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Okay, so that actually went a lot better for me than it had any business going and then I fucked it up <laughs> come on throw some fire at me cause then you're standing still oh fuck it we're gonna do that really that wasn't a secret And I'm not going to get punished for that? Jesus, it must be Christmas. I've half killed all the arch files. Half of them appear to be dead-ish. Still not entirely sure about the direction I'm supposed to be going, but... Okay, so this is where one of them's on the walls, I think. Okay, and that brings me back up here. Let's try this way. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a soul sphere, but... Where are you trying to take me? Oh fuck, what did that do? Um, I still don't have the blue key. So if I go, I'm, I'm trying to follow the map now. I don't know how useful that's. No, that's a drop down. So I'm trying to get back around. It looks like. I'm, I'm just kind of aiming for an area that looks incomplete at the moment. Okay, how does that open? I am so lost. And hope and helpless. Guys, I'm scared. Okay, was I over this way yet? I don't think so. No, 
Nope, that's still open. Or closed, I should say. So I, I've thrown a switch that I don't know what it does. Like, I have no clue what it did. Let's try heading back this way. Okay, I'm getting lost on the fucking map now. Hang on, this way. This way. Wait, what's... Up there. Can I get up there? Okay, that just brings me up here. Oh my god, I'm so confused as to what I have done incorrectly. Maybe not even done incorrectly, just... Yeah, I might have to cut it short. I was hoping to finish this level, because I hate having a level half completed. But this is going on a little bit too long now. It's like, unless... Unless this level somehow picks up pace, which... I mean, I don't know if it will, or if it can, considering its concept, which is arch files out the yin yang. Okay, why was he so fucking tanky? Like the level basically only has one concept, which is. Arch files. There's no other concept. Okay, so that doesn't work. <laughs> Is that unless I start getting, because I'm apparently not even halfway through the level. Or I'm like a little better than halfway through the level. And I've been at this level for 30 minutes without all the loading. So if you take loading into account, I've been at this level for really fucking long. I'm just blindly jumping here for no reason. Is this here bring me anywhere? Nope. Can't go anywhere there. Oh, an elevator, just what I need in a fucking arch file maze. Yeah, I know I got hit there, and I probably could have not gotten hit there, and I don't care. <laughs> This uh, infinite floor thing is kind of an interesting concept, though. Oh, I almost blew myself up there. Quite literally almost blew myself up. I was holding the 
the button down to fire, and I just kind of strafed without paying attention. I'm kind of surprised that didn't end up in something attacking me. Well, there's shit down there that wants to kill me now. I did not mean to fall down. So, there's that. But yeah, no, nah, I'm probably gonna end up cutting this off. This level's taking way longer than I hoped. So I apologize, Quite Fire, if uh, I cut this off. But I feel like I'm going to be here for another half hour if I don't. Let's see if I can kill him before I get off the stream. And then I'm back down here. Okay. And then picking this up results in 9,000 things pouring in. No? No? Alright. Well, let's cut it there for today. Uh, I think it's going on too long. I think the Plutonium 1 idea was a little bit better. It made it a, a good length. This one's a little excessive, but whatever. Uh, at, le at least they're they doing a little bit more with it instead of just being a generic maze. They're all over the place, uh, which is a cool idea. I think it's just going on a little bit too long. But yeah, so thanks everybody for popping in. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Bitefire. Uh, thanks, Loser Corner. Thanks, Shadesman. Uh, thanks, Francis. It's been really great to hanging out with all of you. I'll be back Friday with some Dead by Daylight if you are interested in watching me uh, slaughter teens with a chainsaw. Uh, and, of course, Saturday, I'll probably try playing Quake, the the expansions, and see where that takes me. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm probably going to try and do. Uh, if I get upset with it or it bothers me, I'll move on to something else later. But with that, you all have a fantastic night, and I will see you guys Friday. Bye-bye! Oh, and bye, Shades, man. <sighs> I think a level with 80 arch files is just being excessive, though. That's just... That is too many arch files. Like I said, Map 32 of Sunlust was just an asshole. Like... It wasn't even fun. There was just too many arch files. It wasn't fun. <laughs>